Two local hospitals announced major changes. One is gearing up to welcome more patients. The other has put an end to an important service. 2822 reporter Emily Allegrucci joins us live to explain the medical changes we're looking at from Luzerne County tonight. Emily. Good evening, Nick. I'm here outside of Geisinger Wyoming Valley Medical Center, where a multi-million dollar expansion plan was announced earlier today. Now, on the other hand, Wilkes-Barre General Hospital announced yesterday that they will immediately put an end to their childbirth services, leaving many mothers to be with a choice to make. Wilkes-Barre General Hospital has provided care for just over 150 years now. But on Tuesday, one important service for women came to an abrupt end. A statement from Wilkes-Barre General read, To ensure patient safety, Wilkes-Barre General Hospital will end childbirth services effective July 11, 2023 at 11.59 p.m. It continued to read, Despite efforts to do so, the hospital is not able to secure necessary staffing on the unit. After today, the hospital will no longer provide planned inpatient labor and delivery services. Mothers-to-be will now have to choose other local options, such as Moses Taylor Hospital, Geisinger Community Medical Center, or Geisinger Wyoming Valley Medical Center. Geisinger Wyoming Valley is the closest option for expecting mothers who would normally head to Wilkes-Barre General. And with a $900 million expansion underway, they are ready for some new patients. The hospital announced the multi-million dollar plan to nearly double its size on Wednesday. We really couldn't be more excited for our community and for our patients, our members, our staff. Um, it's really something to celebrate. They intend to add private inpatient rooms, new and improved operating rooms, and more beds for more patients. Patients like the many mothers who will be switching to their care. You know, certainly we've, we've felt the impact of some of the consolidations, but we're doing our best every day. We have wonderful physicians, we have wonderful nurses, we've got a comprehensive program to take care of them between here and, and Geisinger CMC and Geisinger Medical Center. You know, as a system, we're committed to maternity care and they can get excellent care with Geisinger. And if a patient does need to switch hospitals, what about insurance? We have financial counselors that are always willing to meet with patients to talk through options. Um, certainly, we, we hate to turn anybody away, and you know we, we're all about making better health easier. I think the first step is to just call our access center, and we can get you in the right direction. Geisinger Wyoming Valley says they expect to break ground next spring and open the new expansion by 2028. Emily Allegrucci reporting live from Plains Township, sending it back to you in the studio, Nick. All right, Emily, thank you.